since you it's clearly a survey can you call it a survey you're calling it a ballot and it, it is clearly not a ballot I, if you, if, well, okay, I'll, I'll call it a survey. That, okay. That's fine. What, what we want to do is gauge interest, interest in terms of whether you want to retain the district. That, that's really what we're trying to do. So let me walk through. So now we go through and all the surveys are returned to the department. Can I ask you a question? How many blank lines are on that ballot? Can you go back? Would you mind? I'm sorry, I did not hear you. I just want to know how many blank lines are required to be filled out. What if, I've what if we, a lot of things in my life, but we, I've never we, had to fill out that much paper. You know, for, we do need for you to fill out your name, your address, your HCAD account information. We do need you to fill this out. Okay. And if somebody doesn't have internet or doesn't know where to find that, they're just, how does their ballot get counted if they don't return to you? They, if they need help filling out this form, they can certainly come. Can you answer so my question? If they actually you? don't return it, what happens? Is okay, it counted as a yes? Okay, I'm going to get into that. A yes minute. vote? Okay. If they return it and it's not complete, how is it going to be treated? If they return it and it's not complete because they don't have their HCAD number, what are you going to do with it? What we're trying to do is make sure that we match up the property. But just to give us a name isn't going to be helpful. So you need to fill in as much okay, as So if you as get as it possible. and it doesn't have an HCAD number on it, what are you going to do with it? Let me ask legally. Are they required to fill in every single information on the ballot? Sure. Yes. Okay. He's, he's going to. He's going it's to, a survey, by the way. It's, he's going to look at it, and then I'm going. To, I'm going to continue, and I will come back to him. Let me finish, and then we'll come back and do questions. Okay. Um, let me talk about the ballots come back in. So, what are the options? So, when City Council passed the ordinance, you had. Heights East and West, which were already existing districts, and then you had Heights South, which was pending. So I'm going to walk through um, Heights East and West because those were the existing districts. What will happen is, is the planning department is required to make the recommendation to City Council. We can recommend that you maintain the existing boundaries, that you modify the existing boundaries, or that the district could be rebuilt. If 51% of the tract owners file a request to rescind the district, then the recommendation that the planning department can make is to modify the boundaries or to refill the district. Heights South is just a little different. The planning department can recommend to create the district for Heights South and the boundaries as proposed or with modified boundaries. If 51% of the property owners of tracts file the, the survey with the planning department, then there are two recommendations, that you can create the district with or without modified boundaries or deny creating the district. That's, those are the two recommendations we can make to city council. So then the next um, page will show you um, how you can We had one of these last night. 
was very silly. We did two during districts last night. Didn't have to do this there. I'm trying to answer the question. All we want is enough information to be able to make that determination. If you give us the entire, if you give us the entire the form, we can quickly determine that. Otherwise, it takes staff time, and you run the risk that we'll have to, uh, we won't be able to count the form. That's all we need. You do not have to put it on there. I wanted to jump in because of our legal departments being lawyers, and they wanted to do the belt and suspenders. Now, 